I'm going to show how to use the standard assets third person character prefab with my character selection system. Here in the corner you have the video where I explain how this character selection system works and where you can download the Unity package. At the end of this video I'm going to leave a playlist with all the solutions I'm making for Unity. Solutions that you can download and import. So here I imported the character selection system and I added these four materials with different colors that I'm going to use to differentiate the characters. On the other hand, I have imported the standard assets package and this is the prefab that we will use. I'm going to start creating two different scenes, one for the selection menu and another one for the game. This is the menu scene that comes in the package, Ctrl D to duplicate, F2 to rename it. I name it menu and this would be the game scene. Ctrl D, F2, I name it Game. We need to add these new scenes to the build settings because it's necessary to be able to change from one scene to another. In the build settings window, with the menu scene open, I click on Add Open Scene, then I open the Game Scene and click on Add Open Scene again. Then in the menu scene, in the object that controls the character selection, I will change the name of the scene to Load. We are going to load the scene called Game. This name has to be exactly the same. And in the game scene, in this game control object, I will do the same. Here in the name of the menu scene, I'm going to write menu. So when we press this button, this scene will be loaded. I save the changes and check if it works. We are in the menu scene, click on play, we are in the game scene. Click back and we are in the menu scene again. It works. I'm going to delete these characters, place Ethan and rotate him 180 degrees change his name to red, assign him the red material and with this I'm going to create a prefab. Let's make the rest of the characters, change name, in this case blue, assign material, make a prefab and so on. So here we have the four characters that we can choose. I'm going to place all these characters as children of this game object and now I'm going to add them to the character selection system. Here, where we have the objects of the characters, I'm going to write four because there are four characters and I'm going to add each prefab to these fields. It's important to remember this order to use it in the other scene. And now I will modify these prefabs so that they ignore keyboard inputs and they are not affected by gravity. Here I select them all, I disable the use gravity checkbox and I will disable this script that is the one that allows the user to control it by keyboard. We enter the play mode and here as we see the character doesn't fall and when pressing the movement keys it doesn't move. So here the red character is selected. By pressing the buttons we can navigate through each of the characters. So this part would be already working. Now let's go to the game scene. Here I'm going to create a cube for the ground and add a directional light. Right click, light. So now we go to the control object and here in the character object we have to set the size as 4 and we have to drag the prefabs of the player in the same order in which they are in the menu scene. Blue, red, yellow and green. And with this it should work. I go back to the menu scene, enter the play mode and here let's say I choose the blue character. I press play and in the scene appears the blue character and we can control it. Let's go back to the main menu, try the yellow character and as we see the system is working. For this character selection system you will have to take into account the references found at runtime. For example, imagine that you have a camera that follows a character, but the character doesn't exist yet, so at runtime you will have to pass the reference of the character to the script that controls the camera. That's something that you will probably have to solve by your own. Here in the corner I leave you a playlist where I am showing different ways to find object references in Unity. That's all I wanted to show you. Remember that you can download this solution with the link in the corner or in the description. Here on the left I leave you another video 